Do you want to find out about the gathering and how we got on? It was amazeballs. So stay tuned and let's go to the gathering together. Come on. So we all got glammed up in our me made garments and before we actually arrive at the gathering we made sure we took some pics in the garden at the lovely property that we were staying at. So they will be a scutch to one side and the lovely pictures that Steph and Sharon took will be popping up at this side. So garment number one, I'm showing Sharon's garment first because she actually won a prize. How amazing is that? But more of that in a little bit. Sharon's garment was a buttrick pattern. I will put the details of the pattern above, below the pattern. I will put the details of the pattern below the dress image. So this was Sharon's first ever dress, if you didn't know already. And it was a mock wrap dress. It has a cross body at the top cinches in at the waist with a flat waistband at the front and an elastic waistband at the back and then an a-line skirt to give it some swish and swoosh which is great for the gathering and dancing right away she made it in a brilliant bright fabric that we both got from abacans in boston it is a Lot viscose long, which was a challenge for her for her first garment, but she did brilliantly and threw herself into it and came out with a stunning garment which won her a prize. So well done, Sharon. I'm so proud of you. Let's move on to Steph. Steph wore a self-drafted garment. Well, it was a co-ord. So Steph self-drafted herself a pair of wide leg trousers with an elasticated waist, made in a lightweight jersey, beautiful bright pink colours, absolutely stunning. And then she made herself a wonderful back wing sleeve top to go with it. And she also nearly won a prize for the most voluminous sleeves, but she was picked at the post from Rouen, Yorkshire Sogo. So, you know, some stiff competition there, Steph, so you did really well. Now, we hadn't realised at the time, but we were all dressed in pink. More about that in a bit. So this is my garment, you've seen it before, it is the Vogue dress that I made with the back wing sleeves, it's got a plunging neckline that I raised up because I didn't want to flash too much of my boobs but ended up flashing them anyway, hey ho, when you've had a couple of drinks you don't care do you? Yeah, so it had pleats into the waist and then pleats on the skirt, lots of panels, A-line skirt panels, which meant it had a look, it was lovely and floaty. And the fabric I made mine in was, again, it was a viscose and I got mine from Guthrie and Garmy and I loved it. So there are dresses. What happened next? Well, Sharon kindly drove to Cleckheaton Cricket Club, which was only about a three, four minute drive away. But the weather was so iffy, we thought it was advisable not to walk. And she had an event on at the mill house the next day, so needed to keep her wits about her, so abstained from drinking and drove. We arrived at Cleckheaton Golf Club, and a similar time to us, another lady arrived in her car, and she was sat in her car on the car park, and we all said at the same time, that lady's on her own. So we jumped out of the car and I went over and she jumped out of her car at the same time and went, Christine, <laughs> she knew me. 
But it was really weird. I sort of thought I should know her and felt like I did. But when I'm on the screen, I can't see you. And I can't remember everybody who comments. My memory's rubbish. Anyway, the lady's called Helen. And it meant that she didn't have to go in on her own, which was brilliant, because that can be quite daunting for some of us. I know it is for me if I'm on my own. So we all trucked off, figured out how to get into Clecky and Golf Club together. And when we got inside, we realised we were all wearing pink, so we decided we were going to be called the Pink Ladies for the night. So I'm hoping some pictures of us with Helen all enjoying ourselves. We took the Instagram selfie squares and had an absolute blast. Now, I love the way that the gathering was laid out and organised. So well done to Sam and her, and her team of helpers. Because it was it was organised, but cash, if you know what I mean. There was no catwalk, which can be extremely daunting. Some people wouldn't have joined in. So what they did, they gave everybody, everybody had to take a sticker with a number on and slap it on their garment if they wanted to take part. If they didn't, they didn't have to do it. So then we all got drinky poos, had a look at everybody else's garments and inspected them, chatted to everybody. How did you make it? What did you find hard? Is it what patterns that? It was great. Everybody was talking to people who were virtual strangers, really. But we all had a common, a, a, but we all had sewing in common and we'd all made our own garments and we're very proud of them. So it was great to lift each other up, chat about sewing, have a drink, etc. And find out about their garments because we had to vote for our favourite outfit. So I didn't win favourite outfit. Competition was amazing. The lady who won was I'll pop an image of it up here and the details of the pattern was a justifiable winner because her top had loads and loads of pleats detail down either side. Absolutely precise and pristinely done. Well deserved. As I said at the beginning, Sharon won a prize. She won the prize for the brightest outfit. And she was pleased as punch. And so were I and Steph. We were cheering. It was brilliant to see her embracing sewing because it was her first garment. How amazing was that? So we danced the night away. The meal was at pie and peas and chips. Beautiful pie. I had the steak pie. Oh my God, to die for. It was beautiful. So, and we danced the night away and just had a really good time. I got to meet Judy from Running So and So, who I watch religiously, and she is my, my sewing guru. If ever I'm struggling with anything, I know that Judy will have the answer because she is brilliant. And yeah, got my photo taken with her as well. Here's me and Judy. Looking really pleased to see each other. I'm not sure she's as pleased as me, but hey. I tried to restrain myself, Judy. I hope I didn't embarrass you too much. Ruan was there, Yorkshire Soul Girl, so I got to talk to Ruan. And a few other vloggers, Susan from Seaside Stitches was there. Uh, Nadia from Nar Stitch and Style with Nadia was there. I'm trying to think who else. There were a few others, so I'm sorry if I don't mention you, but it was just so overwhelming for me. And surreal. I had to pinch. Like, you, you only feel like you want to pinch yourself because you can't believe something's happening. But that's how I felt at the gathering. Absolutely brilliant. So we were one of the first to leave, I'm afraid, because Sharon, well, we all had to go up early the next day to get Sharon back to the mill house by 10 o'clock. So I think we left about half 11 and it was still all going strong. So yeah, not too early, but we had we were ready to go. We were ready because we'd had a, a really busy few days culminating in the gathering. So then it was back to our pad, 
had a bottle of Prosecco because Sharon hadn't had a drink so we had a drink with her before we went to bed and then the next day pack the car up and go so bye bye Claire Keaton so what were my highlights of the weekend I think the favourite shop this is going to be hard it's and actually mm, favourite proper fabric shop was Fabworks because as we said on our earlier vlog it was fab 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 and we met the lovely Claudia and her team and that was great and they came to the gathering too so we got to know them a lot better than we would have done just chatting in their shop Fabworks oh my goodness I could spend a fortune in that shop and I would definitely be going back maybe not for a few months need to give my bank balance a rest and then second is the uh, scrap shop, the scrappage scheme at Sunny Bankville because, oh, you could spend all day in there as well and bargains galore. Steph was actually annoyed with me the other day because she realised that we, there was a drawer that was full of packs of buttons. So we'd spent ages rummaging through all these buttons and I'd picked up three massive pink buttons for putting on a coat or a jacket or a cardigan. Now three is quite an odd number and in the end I decided that it might not work and I put them back as she hadn't realised as she went mad at me because they were only a pound so I should have bought, she is right, I should have bought, just bought them but I was, being, I was in sensible mode for me and thought I'm really going to use these if I'm not putting them back. Oh, put them back. Sorry Steph. She'll have to go back, won't she, and see if they're still there. You never know. So I think we bought the most in Fabworks and the scrappage scheme, but obviously it spent a lot more money at Fabworks because it's fabric off the roll, isn't it? So, yeah, loved going to Sunnybank Mill. It was great paying homage to the sewing bee. And Farsley, where it's based, it was a lovely little place and we found somewhere really nice for a drink. We had somewhere really nice for lunch. What more can you ask for? So it's back down to earth now, back to normal. I've got to go down to Anglesey for a few days with Steph and we're taking our sewing machines with us. But I don't think I'll be recording much down there, to be honest. It's just some chill time. And then, when you're watching this, I will be in Gran Canaria. Lying back. It might be happy hour even. I'm having a week away from my sewing machine, away from everything sewing, and I am just chillaxing. And then I will hopefully be raring to go when I get back next week. So, there we go. There won't be a Monday Make Some Plans on Monday. There will be be one vlog next week probably Wednesday to split the week up where I'm gonna talk through plans because obviously I'll have just come off holiday on Monday and I will not have any plans at all at that stage but I have when I get back four weeks later I've got my cruise around the med so I will be starting to plan what I need to make to take on my cruise with me so that's it from me for a while. Take care, happy sewing, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along to the gathering with us today. Take care, everybody, and see you soon. Bye. 